Butte, Montana, a city located about 50 miles from the state capital of Helena, is home to something that most cities do not have, a giant toxic pit. This pit, called the Berkeley Pit, is 1 mile by 1.5 miles wide and 1,700 feet deep, filled with heavily acidic water. In 1955, the Anaconda Mining Company started open pit mining operations on the Berkeley Pit, primarily for copper. The Berkeley Pit got its name from an old nearby mine called the Berkeley Mine Shaft. In order to start mining, the communities of East Butte, Meterville, McQueen, Dublin, Gulch, and Fintown were destroyed. Once mining started, 4.4 million tons of rock had to be removed in order to reach the copper. Years later, in 1962, mining operations on the Berkeley Pit had become very successful, with over 320,000 tons of material being removed every single day. However, the profitability of mining did not last forever. In 1982, operations on mining in the Berkeley Pit were stopped by the Anaconda Company, which was bought by the Atlantic and Richfield Company in 1977. When mining operations stopped, over 1.5 billion tons of material was removed, including 290 million tons of copper. The richest hill on earth was no more. Unfortunately, due to the closure, hundreds of workers were laid off. So that's the history of the Berkeley Pit. But you may be wondering, how did all the acidic water get there? I'm going to explain that to you right now. Originally, the Berkeley Pit had several pumps to prevent groundwater from flowing into the pit. However, in 1982, when the pit closed, these pumps were turned off and water began to flow back into the pit. By the time the 2010s came around, the volume of the water rose to 40 billion gallons. Today, the Berkeley Pit is a tourist attraction that you can visit if you pay a $3 fee. I actually visited Butte and the Berkeley Pit back in August. Whether you think it's worth it or not to visit is up to you, but the Berkeley Pit does receive 35,000 visitors per year.